Hi folks, Low Wolf here. Uh, a quick update on a, a couple of items. Um, basically the exhaust, the link pipe that I fitted, and also the uh, sprocket. Right, so the link pipe, beautiful, tied onto the end of my fire torch, it was too loud, and I mean too loud. Um, it, it was okay for me, but I found the two main reasons was that uh, when I was doing a filming or vlogging later on on the bike, the sound of the exhaust dominated the sound of the video. So to change it, I had to do everything in post edit, which was fine, but then I ended up sounding like I was, got me head in a fishbowl when I was talking to you. We can't have that, can we? So, um, we had to have a change round, and uh, I've had to put the OEM cam back on, so I'll just show you. So there we go, folks. OEM cam back on. Uh, gutted, really, because I loved the fire torch, but it was too loud, and I think once you start going into the Welsh countryside, it, it could be a pain. You, you don't want to draw yourself, self attention to yourself that much, and I think you would have done with that pipe on. Um, as I say, it was like a Moto 3 bike, but a loud Moto 3 bike, if you've ever heard one of the Moto GP tracks. So that was the, the main reason for swapping it. Um, it's the weight as well annoys me, because this thing here, it's, it's like five kilos plus, and the fire torch I took off is, is not even a kilo. So you lose three kilos by taking off the cat, but I've gained five kilos back on. So I'm now to plus two kilos to what I had originally. But still, can't do anything about it. I needed, definitely needed to, to change it out because it was just too much when I was doing any videoing. So that's it, part one. So uh, phase two was changing the front sprocket, moving it up from 16 to 17 tooth. Uh, that has been a success, um, where the changing the cat didn't make an any difference. A little bit of punching mid-range, but that was it. But basically, it fed the boy too loud. Um, changing the front sprocket has made a difference. By just going up that one tooth, um, it's changed the rev range, as I said in the earlier video, and there's no comebacks on it. Everything's honky dory, everything's right. I'll show you. As you can see, everything's honky dory, there's nothing untoward. The case and everything is still okay, nothing's been interfered with. The chain's fine, you know what I mean? Back wheel's dirty, look at the state of that back wheel, disgusting. All the uh, clog on it. But, uh, you know, no, nothing untoward at all has happened or anything. Uh, now Mr. Mina's. Yeah, just remember when you're doing it, lock tight this one. Oh, she's going to be in a problem if that drops off. Uh, what else? That was all really. It was easy enough to do, which you got the right tools, as I said. But uh, all in all, it's a decent little job done. So that's the uh, end of a short little video as the add ons to the, uh, the link pipe and the uh, sprocket. Both did the little bitch towards helping uh, this uh, throttle uh, snatchiness that I suffer from. That I, I'm, I'm picky, obviously. Other people have got no issues, but with me, it just seems a real pain and a real shame because this bike is superb. There's no two ways about it. If you could just get out of that snatchiness, it would be really, really top, top draw. So it's Low Wolf saying bye for now. Don't forget, tick, like, subscribe. Channels are going well at the minute. I, I, I seem to have reached parts of the country and the world that I never had before. And suddenly, uh, the Low Wolf's becoming in vogue. So keep it up, folks. Keep ticking, liking, subscribing. Keep telling your friends. So until the next time, it's Low Wolf saying bye for now. And don't forget, just be careful out there. It's Low Wolf, bye for now.